All right, let's now delete that second shape we created and reselect the first one and also delete that. So I want to show you something very specific about not only the rectangle tool, but how all of the tools work. As you've seen already, what we've done with the rectangle tool is we clicked and dragged and we drew a shape, okay? Now, most people's default reaction when creating a shape like this is to move the cursor outside and click to deselect it, okay? Natural thing to do. What this gives us is a dialog box that says rectangle, this shape, and you know, um, you look at your shape in your background and think, yep, that's the dimensions there, or maybe you already told it which size you want it to be. So you hit OK, and you actually end up with another one. And what's happening there is you're bringing up the dialog box to specify the size for a new shape, not the current one. Remember, you can adjust that using transform and the control panel. You have those things at your disposal already. But that is the way that we actually generate shapes of a specific size. So do remember, when you've got a shape created, don't use the same tool to deselect it. You do need to go back to your selection tool all right now i'm just going to do command a or control a on the pc to select all and delete so we can get rid of those so we can now generate backgrounds for all of our shapes okay now we're already on the right layer let's just go and double check that we've got that selected okay i'm going to position the cursor top left of our a4 document I'm just going to click and let go and we bring up the dialog box so i already know my sizes here i'm going to do 210 by 297 millimeters that's the size of our a4 over here okay I'm then going to come over to Artboards and let's double click A3 Poster to jump to this one. Once again, we'll position top left. I can go ahead and do 297 by 420, which is our A3 size over here. All right, and we can click and drag them accordingly. It's, it's no major problem. And then if we come down to the lower right hand side for our flyer, we can do the same thing. Click top left. Let's do 210 wide and 99 deep. And you should remember that from when we actually created the artboard itself. All right. So click OK, you can see it's very easy there to generate objects of a specific shape and size simply by clicking the tool on the page where you wish the shape to be drawn.